You hear a rustling sound and trace it to a small gulch nearby. By the way, guys, I'm just loving this game. It just has so much to it. Peeking out over the edge, you see a goblin rustling around in the bush. Sorry, in the brush. Uh, presumably, it's a gulch goblin rustler. Because he's rustling and uh, whatever. Uh, always kind of assumed that it referred to a different sort of rustling, though. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, looks up at you and makes some angry sounding goblin noises. Uh, jump down and fight. Cool. Uh, I'm just... I'm... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shoot him. Take... This. Oh, no. He's gonna die. Take... That. We're just wrecking everything right now. You clobber the goblin and find some goodies in the shrubbery he was rustling. 10 XP. I uh, got a goblin sandwich and some meat. Sweet. Okay. Uh, full canteen and an incendiary bullet. Can I use these bullets in my gun somehow? I guess so. We yeah. Should we go to the cavern canyon? Fight these guys. I'm feeling pretty strong. Feeling pretty proud. Pretty pretty brave. Danger. Spider. Well, that'll keep us out. Guys, let's go back. Spiders. And as it, oh, there's three caves to pick from. <gasps> let's go into the spider cave maybe. Uh, or we can pry off the boards with my crowbar. Those boards couldn't hide from my prying. Let's go in here. Uh, weapons and medicine. And booze. Okay. Cool. Uh, you should leave right now before that spider eats you. Oh, that spider. In, in the hole back there. Fuck. Uh, okay. Um, we're leaving because that's scary. I don't, I don't want an instant die or some shit. Or maybe it's friendly. Maybe it's a friendly spider. No way you're going back in there. Well, I guess I answered that. Ah, pointy. A uh, danger spider through there as well. Okay, what's over here? More caves. This place is going to get quite complicated. Uh, the door has like 15 dead bolts on it. In the note tag to it says, Please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because it's the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. Open the door. The tunnel behind it, uh, the tunnel behind this opening goes straight up, and there's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. Okay. And now, now I've opened the world to the spider. That was bad of me. Oh. You can see. Oh, see, they're here. Is they, are they just over here? You can see the gang on the other side of the big pile of junk. Why am I doing a handstand? Sure. But you're not going to be able to get to them from this end. Maybe if you had some more legs, you'd be able to pick your way through. So, like, if I was a spider. Okay, it's a spider, but it's... <sighs> For a second, I thought the spider was here. Jesus, it scared shit at me. I don't know why I jumped. Okay. I'm just waiting for a spider to appear. Let's just go this way. You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. And uh, then there's more skittering than silence. Uh, did I do this? Did I? Oh god. I might have caused this to happen by releasing the spider. The gang has been prepped for uh, spider consumption. Uh, don't do anything just yet. I can't arrest him though. Uh, danger kitchen and more holes danger bar uh huh okay there's people okay uh, nothing here hi this poor chef is chained to the wall his eyes widen as you approach hey you're you're not one of them are you here to rescue me sure thank goodness he thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously I'm Doug Hayek hi <laughs> How'd you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank cave for weeks. Cooking for the stripy-headed idiots. That sounds awful. You, you, you want to know the worst part? They're perfectly good. There's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. I'm guessing you've got a seven-foot chain. Oh, uh, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking in the same pot of soup over and over again. What million meat idea? 
You promise not to steal my idea? I promise. It's, it's a new kind of sandwich, or, or, or a taco. It's so revolutionary, I'm not sure where it fits in in the whole hand food tax economy, to be honest. Anyway, in the middle of it, there's a sausage. But it's a sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of a pig. Ground up so finely you can't identify them anymore. Okay. And it's served in a long sp uh, split roll, which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. Uh. And the best part, the name? You ready to hear the name? Sure. I call it the hot do dog. <laughs> of course, the hot dog. Uh, how about the hot hayek instead? Don't be ridiculous, hot hayek. What does that even mean? Ha! <laughs> ridiculous. Hey, there's no need to be mean about it. He sighs. Not that any of this matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's, there's no point in hanging around if it's an empty cave. Hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. You could set up a shop in Deadwater. Brilliant! You're a genius, Hayek! Hot dogs for sale, all day, every day. I'll make a mint! Say, there's an idea. What if I added mint to the sausage mixture? You help him break his chains, uh, he leaves the caves, hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage re recipes. Awesome! Uh, I did a good thing, I guess. We learned about hot dogs. Okay, and then there's Danger uh, Bar. Okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, I got a jaw jaw harp. Cool. Uh, these bottles these bottles are mouldy. I think it said. Hmm. Cool. Cheap tequila, cheap whiskey, cheap wine. Awesome. I guess now we rest the guys, and we're done. You stack the cocoons on the back of the horse, except for one, which Susie carries on her shoulder, and head back to the dirt water jail. Fuck yeah. Was he saying no? Oh yeah, it's a girl, isn't it? Is that the stripe you had, gang? What happened to him? They had a run-in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. <laughs> Love it. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanations. A thousand meat. Groovy. Heck yeah, I did it. I just wanted to say hi. So, is there another poster? I've done that one now, so there's, other, there's a new poster. Uh, the Pote McKinn Gang. For unlicensed civil, civil engineering and flaunting of construction, sure. Why not? God, this game just has so much content, like side quests, like out of the wazoo. Well, let's let's plunk it. <laughs> Heck yeah! What do you think, guys? Pretty good, right? Let's stop. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it was the cook, wasn't it? The cook wanted the short salt peter. Let's go hand that in. Uh, oh, wait. This is the poker room. How, did I miss the poker room before? Like, did I completely miss it? I think I did, you know. Like, I didn't go in there. God dang it. We'll do that in a second. Let me just do my quest here. Okay, next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper. Because it's really spicy. Because it... <laughs> Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They grow in an area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you wander around a while. Cool, wandering around. Sweet. Okay, we were going to places and stuff, but let's wander around and try and find those peppers, shall we? Some of those uh, murder peppers. You catch a whiff of something that makes your eyes water. I think I found it. A vividly coloured red shape hanging from a scraggly little plant. This must be the, uh, the southeast western murder pepper. Let's grab it. Uh, you think... Your finger and thumb immediately start throbbing as you pluck the pepper. You toss it into the rucksack before it could do any damage. Yeah. Well, that was quick, guys. That, like, that, like, took nothing. Did it. I mean, what else does he want, I wonder? So, it's in here, isn't it? Whoop. Holy shit, this, this game is really amazing. Like, so much to do. Okay, did it. Cool. Okay, so if you're still looking for stuff to do, I need someone to go and check my mail. I ordered a new sauté knife, but I haven't got the time to fetch it. Here's the key to my post office. Okay, so here's the key to the post office. All right. Okay, sure. I guess we'll go do his mail for him, I guess. Because that's what we are now. We're just an errand boy. Uh, sure. Cool. Sauté knife. But if it's really good, maybe I'll keep it. Uh, even though you're holding it, you're still pretty sure there's not... There's not <laughs> 
<laughs> Even though you're holding it, you're still pretty sure there's no such thing as a saute knife. Anyway, it's too thin to use as a weapon. It's not even worth stealing. God damn it, game, you thought about that. Imagine if it was like the best knife in the game or something. Curses. Turns out it is just a thin knife that isn't very good. Oh well. Did it. Okay, I only need one more favor from you, but it's the most important. I used to have this recipe for a very secret jerk sauce. But my jerk friend Dave, Jay, stole it from me. And then he died and took the secret to his grave. Literally, I mean, he was buried with it. You want me to dig up his grave? He's dead, he won't mind. Where's he buried? In the Dave yard, naturally. Obviously, that's where Dave's are buried. You discovered a new map location. Well, okay. I mean, if we're doing this, we might as well just go through it all the way. Dave yard. To the Dave yard. Heck yeah. Oh, some bones. Lots of bones to fight. Okay, so... Here lies... Okay, this is Dave B. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. Uh, we got some brown boots. I don't own boots. So, uh... Cool! I got some boots for the first time. You dig up the grave just to check the, <laughs> the veracity of the epitaph. Uh, so, sure enough. Boots, but no pants. Heck yeah. And I'm wearing them, also probably... Maximum AP by one. I'm fully kit, guys, now, finally. Okay, and there's probably some skeletons to fight. Uh, Dave C, I guess, but we're looking for Dave J. And also some skeletons to fight. Let's put them down for good, guys. Let's just wreck him with, with spells, because I'm amazing. Look at all these bullets I've got, and all these items I can use. And then, pew, you're dead. You're dead, sucker. Because I'm just that amazing. And i got a handful of loose teeth. I'm guessing they're useful for something. Probably should look here. Probably should look to start selling all of my items to get some spare meat if I need to. Let's kill these skeletons. Have a bean spell. I'm the best beanomancer. Like the best. Heck yeah. Cool. Got a gold tooth, and there's a grave down here. Yeah, Dave J. Uh, instead of a corpse, it contains a garbage bag. Strange. Maybe he isn't dead then. You reach into the garbage bag and uh, are surprised to find that it's full of pudding? No, it's not just pudding, it's pudding and motor oil. Who would do this? Okay, so I finally get the recipe, but Jesus, what the hell? That is just bizarre. Anything else? Any more stuff to fight? Uh, Dave L. So yeah, this is the Dave yard where all the Daves are buried, of course. Free lunch. Heck yeah. A thermos of spiked uh, coffee, sure. And Dave G. Uh, he was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a fella from like 40 angry bears. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> and let's beat the chickens or whatever they said. Beat, beat the dickens out of this guy. He's like a chef skeleton. Usual standard procedure, guys. I shouldn't need to defend myself. He should be dead in two hits. Or maybe not. Hopefully, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All this loot. So, so good, this game. Uh, Dave D, the truth was out there. It killed him. Uh, oh, shit. Dave G, murdered by a different fellow named Dave G. Uh, sure. Uh, skull with an odd tag on it. Ah. Uh, how odd. Uh, sure. The tag on the skull has a serial number on it, and it says it was borrowed from the submission catacombs on... Sure. All right. I don't know what that's about, but sure. Maybe it's the code for that safe or something. The Dave Yard Mausoleum. Alright. Well, these aren't moving, so I guess I can't. This is one of those things they have in mausoleums. You know one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons? Uh, open one, fight. Open a whole bunch, bigger fight. Bigger fight. Cool. Right, it's a big fight, guys, so of course we're getting our, our good old friend Boney. Boney. Beanie. Obviously, why would you call Boney? He's Beanie the Bean Golem. And... I'm just gonna shoot, because I'm amazing. Right? Yeah. Who needs to defend myself with a bean shield? So much damage. And then you just finish off the same guy. Yeah, shoot the Bean Golem. Oh no, he's the Beanomancer or something. Oh no, spooky! Good job, Beanie. Okay. Uh, let's kill him. 
And shoot. Almost dead. Oh, at least he took the hit for me. Good job. Fuck yeah. 30 XP because I killed three guys. Yeah. Oh, what? I can still fight? Was, it, was this like infinite? I don't mind, I guess. Being Golem, go. 